Well, people battling diseases like cancer can spend hours in the hospital on any given day to receive life-saving treatments. Well, San Diego Biotech Company is changing that, cutting down treatment time for certain forms of cancer from hours to minutes. And joining us now to talk about it, Helen Torley, president and CEO of Halozyme. Uh, Helen, thanks for joining us here. It's great to be here. Okay, tell us about Halozyme, how this technology came to be, and, and how it's changing the experience for people going through this. Yeah, so at Halozyme, we have a goal to make uh, treatments, important treatments, including life-saving medicines, more effective by making it easier for patients to get the therapy, just as you described. Um, what we um, have is an enzyme that we combine with uh, our leading products that other companies produce and it allows them instead of a multi-hour infusion in an infusion suite which might not be close to the patient's house to be able to get that in a short simple injection under the skin in just minutes. Uh, so it's, it's transformative for how the patient experiences their care. We'll talk about subcutaneous versus IV delivery because I know as myself personally I've had to deal with some of those treatments, said treatments, and just the time that it takes you know to sit there and receive the IV drip is really just unbelievable. Well, well it is. I mean the first thing is getting to the treatment as you know it might not be close to your home especially if you live in a rural area. Uh, that's the first thing and then these treatments are, are, are life-saving but many can take two, three, four hours. Uh, we've got six approved products. One of them is a, a drug cancer, um, a, a, sorry, a, a cancer uh, treatment uh, for blood cancer. And when patients receive the drug as an intravenous, it can take up to four to six hours. Um, with our enhanced technology, it's given in just three to five minutes. And so for that patient, that means instead of an entire day, likely at the infusion suite, also for the caregiver, uh, they're getting it in a simple shot in five minutes. Uh, they can pop in at lunchtime. They can go in the morning. They can go at night. It doesn't take their entire day. They can get back to work. They can get back to their normal life. And uh, that's just one example that we have. We've got ones from breast cancer as well, often young moms, single moms, working moms. Uh, it just makes them be able to uh, feel less stress, frankly as they try to manage life, their treatment, and their families. And what kind of conditions are we talking about, Helen, when it comes to this treatment? Is it not every kind of cancer, right? Is it certain kinds? Well, we have approvals for several kinds of cancer at the moment. A couple of blood cancers, lymphoma, one um, in multiple myeloma, mm -hmm. uh, but also breast cancer, as I mentioned. We just very recently got an approval for a muscle weight, uh, weakness disease that's called myasthenia gravis. And one of our other partners just uh, had positive data in a nerve disease called multiple sclerosis. So any injection that has to be given in a long IV infusion mm -hmm. potentially could be amenable to receiving our um, enhanced technology and being able to be given sub-Q. Uh, sometimes that will be administered by a doctor, mm -hmm. but the ultimate vision, I think, is that many patients can start receiving it at home themselves. Uh, imagine that uh, from the journey you had, uh, what a difference that would have made. And that definitely uh, has implications when it comes to health care in terms of nurses and doctors and their time. They don't have to sit there and monitor you the whole time. A great point. Um, it, there's healthcare savings because of sub-Q, but importantly, uh, today with all of the great drugs we have, there's less and less capacity in infusion suites, so it's harder and harder to get in for patients. And, and so this greater patient throughput can shorten waiting times and make sure patients get their planned dose on time, another very important concept for cancer patients. So uh, we see sub-Q as being a great addition uh, to allow more patients even to be treated. What about uh, effectiveness? How effective is it to do it this way versus over the hours long treatment? Um, it's identical. The, the way we get approval with the uh, FDA for these products is we do a test to show that the um, drug exposure is the same between the sub-Q and the IV mm -hmm. and that the efficacy is therefore the same and the safety. So um, identical in terms so of it, its impact. So it's injected and then throughout the next few hours does its job just like if you had an IV in? Is that what it is? It, it, exactly. It's injected underneath the skin. It's absorbed over time. Um, so it takes a little longer to get absorbed than as an IV, but you're talking no difference in terms of it having its onset of efficacy mm -hmm. or how you react to it. So versus circulation of the blood and, and just like going into one organ, which is your skin, that just makes all the difference. It, it does because uh, it goes under your skin, but it can be exposed to something called your lymphatics. Mm -hmm. And that's how um, large molecules like monoclonal antibodies get absorbed. So it still gets absorbed, just takes a little bit longer, uh, but does the same job. And so what is 
what's what is in you at that point? <laughs> and does it stay? Do you take it out? I mean, what, what, so our, our enzyme is an amazing enzyme. So it's combined with the medicine, uh, but it's an enzyme. So it, it, there's something underneath your skin that's a, a gel-like substance called hyaluronin, yeah. and the enzyme just um, eats it away. Think about a little Pac-Man mm -hmm. and creates channels. Um, it de degrades it for about 24 hours, and then your body builds your hyaluronin back. So you get a temporary um, uh, way to get the drug in, mm -hmm. and then it returns to normal. Your skin is normal mm. afterwards, but you've created a little depository for the drug. So sh into your sugar and fat, basically, in your body? I, I, into, yeah, just into underneath your skin. There's cells, there's a lot of fat, there's a lot of um, blood uh, stream in there. So it, it, it goes into that space. Hey, and get rid of the discomfort of having to sit there even with an IV in, you know, certain parts of your body. It just is. Oh, well, it is. IV port, that's always um, a, a risk of infection, as an example, if you have those. But yes, getting stabbed lots of times, as yeah. Yeah, you may know, it can get harder and harder to find a vein. What's so. the future for you guys, real quick? Uh, with your company, just with this technology, you know, going forward, we've gone from the hour-long IV infusions to this multi-minute um, subcutaneous injection. We've just released data on an injectable device that's like a pen you put in your thigh and press a button, and it will deliver important therapies in just 30 seconds. That's the next step for making treatment easier for patients. Incredible. All right, Helen, thank you so Exciting. much. Great to, to hear what's going on with Halozyme, and we wish you the best. Looking forward to hearing what's next. That's great. Thank, right. you. thank you for Thanks coming. Helen. Thank you.